Interest rates are going down. So Bank of Canada has cut interest rates. Looks like the trend is to continue. Our neighbors to the south, of course, have recently cut interest rates by 0.5%. Looks like that trend is set to continue as well. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you if you park money or put money in a cash savings ETF, for example, or in GICs, the amount of interest you're going to earn is going to be less, right? Because lower interest rate means less interest earned. So... Uh, and you guys know I'm not really a big fan of those type of investment vehicles. I think there's better options. So the question is, if you do want to park some money for maybe a shorter period of time, if you are risk adverse, you don't want to invest in in stocks, but you want, uh, you know, you got some safety money you want to put aside, you want to invest, but you really want capital preservation. If that is your primary concern, is there an alternative to a GIC or these cash savings ETFs? And the answer is yes. Quadravest just released their very first ETF. It's the PREF ETF. That is the, the stock symbol. So this is Quadravest's first ETF, which is actually designed for exactly what we're talking about in this video, capital preservation. And this is a really good alternative to those cash savings ETFs, to GICs, where you could actually get very, very stable capital, if not increasing, or the potential for capital appreciation, but all the while getting over 6% annual yield and is much more tax efficient yield than a GIC or cash savings ETF. So let's check out this ETF together right now. All right, everyone, let's take a look at Quadravest's very first ETF. We know that they are uh, a big uh, provider of split share funds in Canada. Uh, they have the biggest one, by the way. They manage the biggest split share fund in Canada, Dividend 15. But they recently came out with their very first ETF, and the stock symbol is PREF. And this is called the Quadravest Preferred uh, ETF. So if you just click on this PDF here, you'll get the product brief, which basically uh, gives us all the details about this ETF, which we'll go through together here. So first of all, I'd like to thank Quadravest for sponsoring this video. That's right. You heard right. Quadravest is sponsoring this video. I'd like to thank them. So I am in communication with Quadravest. Uh, finally, I know that many of you, including myself, of course, I've been wanting this for a really long time. So hopefully this collaboration continues. Hopefully we could get maybe the CEO on. I am in contact with the CEO, Wayne Finch. So hopefully we could get more uh, videos with them or a Q&A with them. By the way, if you're interested in a Q&A, I know they're going to be reading the comments, guys. Let us know in the comments section below. Maybe that'll encourage them to do this, uh, that you would like a Q&A uh, and that it would be beneficial uh, if you're an investor in Quadravest products. So moving on now, uh, let's review this ETF in detail, the Quadravest Preferred Split Share ETF, Monthly Tax Efficient Income, Preferred Income. So uh, guys, this is basically an ETF here that will combine many split share fund preferred shares all together in one ETF. So it's kind of like an all-in-one split share fund preferred share. So remember guys, split funds, right? They're called split funds for a reason. For example, if we look at DFN, the biggest split share fund in Canada, you have the class A shares, DFN, and then you have the preferred shares, dfn.pr.a. That's typical. You'll see that typically a, a PR in the preferred share. So they, they're, they're two different listings. And basically, a split share fund is a corporation that invests typically, and here's DFN, for example, in high quality blue chip stocks. Here are the 15 uh, core holdings in Dividend 15. You'll recognize a lot of the companies, the big banks are there, Bell Canada, Enbridge, et cetera, et cetera. So really high quality basket of stocks. And what they do is within the corporation, they have the Class A shares. So all the stock price movements, all the capital gains goes to the Class A shares, but the preferred shares are a really conservative investment where they kind of act like preferred shares in general. Everyone, they have first crack at the dividends. So all the dividend, you know, the preferred shares basically have the priority over the Class A shares. So it's basically like a less risky way to invest in some of these stocks. So this is why for preferred shares, and this is a preferred share ETF, you'll typically see a low risk rating this is a typical rating that more like uh you know preferred shares fixed income bond assets uh get right unlike stocks which typically get medium or higher so the stock symbol of course this is going to be traded or listed on the canadian stock market on the tsx it's going to be pref this just uh recently came out it it, it, it the inception date is june 24th Management fee, 50 basis points. It will have a monthly distribution of just under uh, five and a half cents. 
Um, so that translates to the current price. The, the current price of the ETF, by the way, is about a little over ten dollars, ten sixty-five. So you're looking at a dividend yield of a little over six percent a year. So like I was saying, much higher than the yield you could get on GICs nowadays, um, and cash savings ETF, and even more so as interest rates go down, those yields will uh, keep falling. So very nice yield. You'll also see that in terms of the source of the income, the distributions or dividends. It's not ordinary income or interest income like cash savings and, e and GICs give you. That's the least favorable uh, income in, uh, as far as tax, taxes is concerned. So the distributions are going to be mostly made up of eligible dividend. You see that here, dividend income. This would be Canadian eligible dividend and capital gains. And we know that those two... Um, those two sources of income is much, much more tax efficient than regular income. So right off the bat, you're getting a higher yield than GICs and uh, cash savings ETF. You're getting a more tax efficient yield and you're actually getting a chance for capital appreciation as well. More on that in a little bit. So if we scroll down, let's look at what's inside this ETF. So this is an ETF that holds a bunch of split share fund preferred share so of course you have dividend 15 split core preferred shares that's the one we just looked at right this is the biggest split fund uh in canada so you see that makes up 11.8 percent financial 15 split corp which is also managed by quadrivest north american financial 15 split corp also managed by quadrivest these holds uh pretty much all financial stocks in the u.s and in canada so the big uh big six banks are there things like insurance company like manulife sun life there's even U.S. banks like J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, et cetera, et cetera. So really high quality blue chip stocks here. You also have uh, split share fund preferred shares from other uh, split share fund provider in Canada. Of course, we know that Brompton is a big one. So you have the Life and Bank split corp from Brompton. That would be LBS, the, 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 the split share here. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's another Brompton one. Here's another Quadravest one. Here's one from Middlefield, the E split, which focuses on Enbridge, et cetera, et cetera. So in short, guys, you're looking at pretty much all high quality, blue chip quality dividend stocks anyway. Uh, mostly the focus is on financial stocks and it's a mishmash of all different split share funds of Canada. So this is kind of good because you don't have to pick and choose your own split share preferred shares. You could just get this ETF and you know, you consider it as an all in one. So you could read this on your own. I'm not going to through the whole thing um, you know, detail by detail. But if you look at Quadrivest quote here, I like this quote. So this ETF is designed to provide monthly distributions and capital preservation primarily through investment in a portfolio of split preferred share. So uh, capital preservation. I mean, that is really what this ETF is designed for. So it doesn't mean that it'll just stay the same like a GIC. You actually have a chance for capital appreciation. And it pref hasn't been out for a long time here. It's been out for just a few months, but you'll, you you see that it started about $10. Now it's up 2%. So you actually have chance of capital uh, going up, ju that's just because of preferred shares, how they work. So in case you didn't know preferred shares of the split share funds, just like preferred shares in general, they tend to reset their rates every three or five or whatever. For split funds, it's typically every five years. So typically when interest rates go up and, and the preferred shares of a split fund reset, they, they reset higher typically. So we actually saw, we actually could see this because DFN recently announced a preferred share rate increase that's going to take effect into December. You could read the press release. Dividend 15 split 2 corp also announced a preferred share rate increase. FFN did as well. So these are all, uh, and they're all going to take effect in December 1st. This is obviously going to help this fund because it's, you know, if the rates increase of these, that means this fund is going to take in more income. So it only means one of two things, guys. Either the distribution rate, which is currently just under 5.5 cents a month, is actually going to increase. Or if they leave it the same, there's going to be capital appreciation because obviously if the fund is getting more income and the distribution rate stays the same, the capital, you know, the capital appreciation has to, has to go up. And it's not only Quadravest um, funds or split share fund prefers that have reset higher rates. Even Brompton have recently raised the rates as well. You see LBS, if you look at the preferred shares, if you go to distributions, you see that they're actually going up actually in... Um, in uh, about six months from now, there's there's an increase on LBS as well, which is actually a big position here, 10% of PREF ETF. So I feel like, you know, this is my personal opinion. This is a great place to 
park some safety money or money short term and it's far far superior you'll get much superior returns in my opinion here i'm just estimating than a gic or a cash savings account not only do you have the chance of capital appreciation which a gic and cash savings etf you don't have that chance but you have a higher yield at a, a little over six percent and you have more tax efficient income as well because most of the distributions here, if not, if all the distributions are pretty much gonna be classified either as eligible dividends and or a combination of eligible dividends and capital gains. And we know that's much more tax efficient if you're buying this, for example, in a non-registered cash account. So very good alternative to cash savings ETFs, the GICs. Now, of course, the million dollar question, I know you're gonna ask me, well, this looks exactly the same to the SPLT ETF from Brompton and you would be right so there's they're you know they're very 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 similar so Brompton's SPLT ETF which came out I think over a year ago is pretty much the same concept it's an ETF that combines many preferred share split funds in, in Canada if you go to portfolios you'll see that you know their biggest position is also the DFN 15 so the, the holdings are very 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 similar very similar strategy this one um, uh, you know is, is crossed or is about to cross the 300 million AUM mark. So obviously very, very, very popular. Um, so 6% yield. The management fee is the same as well. The risk rating is the same as well, right? 50, 50 basis point management fee. Risk rating is low as well. So um, if we actually look at how SPLT has behaved in the last year, you could kind of have an idea for also how PREF is going to behave too. And I have to say I was pretty impressed. If we look at the chart for SPLT, not only did you get a a slightly growing capital, right? Up 5.24% in the last year, much more than a, a GIC and cash savings ac account could do. So not only you have a little bit of capital appreciation, but a really, really solid 6% plus yield paid out monthly. So it's a fantastic ETF. Obviously we have some proof here with SPLT because uh, PREF is pretty much gonna behave the same way. So is there a difference? You know, I know that's the question you have. Is there really a big difference between PREF and SPLT? Well. You ha I have to say that there's not much of a difference. I did ask Wayne Fitch, the CEO of Quadravest, it, what is the main difference? And he said, well, I can't really comment on what Brompton is doing, but what, what he could say for, for the PREF is that they're really going to take an active approach uh, to this ETF to really try to capitalize it when they reset higher, like DFN has reset, uh, announced you know, a, a preferred share rate increase and DF and FFN, et cetera, et cetera. So they said, that's what he told me. He told me they're going to take a really active a approach to really capitalize on that. So what I think that's going to translate either is growing distributions or if they remain the same, a growing stock price. So guys, that's it for the review of this ETF. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, fantastic cash savings ETF alternative or an alternative to park your cash if you really have want to put something to work short term or you just want to have an emergency fund. My opinion, this is my personal opinion, this is a great way to do it because you're getting some good yield, monthly distributions. You could put it on drip if you want and just compound that growth as well. Low fee, you don't have to pick and choose your preferred, your split fund preferred shares. They do it for you. It's an active approach. So they're going to capitalize for you on when the rates reset. And most likely you're going to get a very, very safe investment here. Hence the low uh, the low risk rating, right? So again, let me know if you feel like a Q and A with Qu someone from Quadravest, either Wayne Finch, the CEO, who's very experienced in preferred shares as a whole. That's his background. If you wanna, if you would really enjoy a Q and A with them, like I would, let us know in the comment section below, and hopefully we convince them. That's the end of the video. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And as usual, see you next time. Take care, everybody.